Hello and welcome to chapter 7, Shopping. Let's get right to it. So again, as a warm-up exercise, I'm just going to ask you a few conversational questions. Please try and use your best vocabulary and your best pronunciation. Let's go. Do you enjoy shopping? How often do you go shopping? What is your favourite place to shop and why? Do you like shopping alone or with someone else? Cash, ATM card or credit card? Which is the easiest, most dangerous and why? That is purely your own opinion. So for our next exercise, we have a shopping list, but the shopping list is incomplete. We have to pick the container that the product comes in and complete the sentences. Let's have a look. Sentence number one, A of meat. We're going to have a look and that would be a tray of meat. Sentence number two, A of pickles. Have a look. A jar of pickles. Sentence number three. A of tuna. Going to have a look and that will be a can of tuna. Sentence number four. A of crisps. That will be a packet of crisps. Sentence number five. A of olive oil. We're going to have a look. A bottle of olive oil. Six. A of orange juice. And that will be a carton of orange juice. Seven. A eggs. And that's obviously going to be a dozen eggs. Eight. A of cookies, and that will be a tin of cookies. Nine, A of ice cream, and that will be a tub of ice cream. Ten, A of strawberries, that will be a punnet of strawberries. Eleven, A of flour. That will be a bag of flour. Moving on, 12, a of chocolate. That will be a bar of chocolate. Next one, 13, a of tea bags. That is a box of tea bags. 14, A of yogurt, and that will be a container of yogurt. 15, A of potatoes, that will be a sack of potatoes. Now the shopping list is complete. Let's move on. So, I will be reading you the short passage and then there will be a few questions to answer as well as a few true or false and then another little exercise. So, here we go. Last weekend, Lily's husband Mark went to Asda to do the weekly shopping. Before he left, Lily made sure she gave him the long list of groceries he had to buy. If he doesn't have a list, he will end up forgetting to buy lots of things. Once he arrived at the supermarket, he parked the car, took a trolley and started shopping straight away. The first thing on the list was a head of lettuce, a bunch of bananas, a box of tomatoes and a bag of spinach. 
Penny went looking for two boxes of cornflakes, a jar of strawberry jam, a bag of sugar, a sack of rice, and a dozen eggs. He then went over to the fridges and picked up a block of cheese, a pack of butter, and a tub of fresh cream. He remembered that they needed a bottle of olive oil and tins of soup. Feeling a bit thirsty, he picked up a few cans of Pepsi and a carton of orange juice. Looking at the list once again, he still needed to pick up a bag of frozen vegetables and chips. That evening, they were having sandwiches for tea, so he chose a nice loaf of bread and slices of cold beef. Last on the list was kitchen roll, a tube of toothpaste and a bottle of shampoo. Once he finished, he felt a bit hungry, so he chose a bar of chocolate and a bag of crisps to eat on the way home. Now let's look at the questions. Question number one. When was Mark doing the weekly shopping? Question number two. How did he get to the supermarket? Question number three. What did he take with him and why? Question number four. What did he buy for the evening meal? Question number five. What was last on the list? Okay, now let's have a look at the true or false questions. Question one. Mark used a shopping basket to put his shopping in. Two. He picked up a bunch of grapes. Three, they needed half a dozen of eggs. Four, he was thirsty, so he picked up a bottle of water. Five, frozen vegetables and chips are sold in bags. And then the last exercise will be Underline all the qualifier words you can find in this text. For example, a box of tomatoes. There are quite a few in this exercise. Let's continue. So we have a little vocabulary exercise. Complete the sentences below using the following words. Out of, bunch, unopened, reusable, shopping list, peanut butter, and cupboard. So sentence number one we can see has already been done. You don't have to remind me to do my homework. I won't forget. Question. Sentence number two. How much does a bunch of bananas cost? Sentence three, let's make a shopping list of things we need to buy. Four, someone asks, did you already open the bottle? And then someone answers, no, it's unopened. Sentence five, I don't want to throw away this box. It's reusable. Sentence six, there are a few cups and dishes in the kitchen cupboard. Sentence seven, someone asks, are we bread? So they are asking, are we out of bread? And then the other person answers, no, we still have more. Last sentence. Are you hungry? I'll make a peanut butter sandwich for you. You are doing such a good job. I look forward to seeing you in the next chapter of our course. Bye-bye.